Now ningetaka uandike hii maana ni muhimu. The benefits of dedication. Faida ya kuweka vitu wakfu. Faida ya kuweka nini? Vitu wakfu. Now kuna kitu mnafaa muelewe. Hebu tuanze na the book of Exodus chapter 20 verses 24. Exodus chapter 20 verses 24 Biblia inasema hivi acha nikusomee na ikiwezekana tupate Biblia ya Kiswahili in the future hapa itakuwa mzuri Exodus yule alitumiwa na Mungu kuleta hii ya kizungu atuimbiwe na Mungu kuleta ya Kiswahili Amen Exodus chapter 20 verse 24 Are you there The Bible says an altar of the earth you shall make for me you shall sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your peace offerings your sheep and your oxen in every place where I record my name I will come to you and I will bless you Biblia inasema munitengenezee madhabahu na mkishanitengenezea madhabahu nitakuja niandike jina langu kwenye hayo madhabahu i will record my name on that altar ama mahali pale pengine nitachagua niweze kuandika jina langu kwa hiyo sehemu na bible inasema mahali popote nimeandika jina langu i will come anywhere i record my name i will do what i will come Number two, when I come I will bless you. Every time ni vizuri muelewe whatever we own be it a plot be it a building be it like a vehicle kama hizi gari zimepakiwa hapa unaweza fungua mlango wa Mungu ku record jina lake kwa gari yako ku record jina lake kwa watoto wako ku record jina lake katika property zako na mahali yako Shetani akampeleka Yesu mahali juu akamwambia niinamie na utukufu huu wa mahali hii nitakupa kumaanisha kuna watu wamepeana vitu vyao kwa shetani na shetani akarekodi nini jina lake kwa hizo vitu eh, Amen Na kuna watu hii dunia wamefungua mlango Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Ufunuo ninabisha mlangoni atakaye fungua nitaingia na nitaweza kula pamoja na yeye Kuna watu hawajafungulia Mungu maisha yao vitu vyao kwa Mungu a record jina yake kwa hizo vitu Hii land tulinunua hapa ilikuwa na jina inaitwa Top Cliff Sea of Help Group hiyo ndiyo jina ilikuwa juu ya hii title. Ilikuwa ni wazee wameshikana pamoja, wamenunua hii shamba tu acres, wakaweka jina yao hapo. Hii plot wakaamua hii shamba wakaamua kutuuzia. Mimi nilipata imekatwa plots. Imekatwa nini? Plots, wanauza plot moja moja. Nikawa request, kwa nini msiuzie kanisa? badala mtuuzie zikiwa plot mtuuzie ikiwa shamba wakakubali wakafanya kitu kinaitwa amalgamation hebu sema amalgamation hata mimi nilijulia hiyo jina hapo sikuwa nalijua zamani sasa huwa natisha watu hata watoto wangu wanajifanya wanajua kizungu anaongea ongea kizungu na wambia sema amalgamation Unaona akatoka anasema amulagalish amulaga unaona kameshindwa namwambia najua kizungu kukuliko Amalgamation ni kufanya plot nyingi zifanyike kitu moja you, you, you combined eight plots it becomes an acre that is what amalgamation hiyo ni kuunganisha plot zimekatwa zinafanywa kitu moja Tulipopata hili shamba nikamuita our spiritual father aje afanye ibada ya dedication maana plot hii na shamba hili halikuwa na jina la Mungu lilikuwa na jina la watu kikundi cha watu tukaja tukazunguka hili shamba tuliweka hema pale shamba hii kamwagwa mafuta kila kona kila mahali 
ikamwagwa mafuta na kuhani wa Mungu mchanga huo tukaushika tukaubariki tukasema kuanzia siku ya leo hili shamba tumelipeana liwe shamba la Mungu litumike kwa kazi ya Mungu na tukafanya ibada tukachukua sadaka zetu tulikuwa nazo kama kanisa tukampatia kuhani wa Mungu kama sacrifice tukasema kuanzia leo hili shamba jina la Mungu limekuwa recorded hapa Barnabas ya kwamba hili shamba ni lake unaweza sema pasta si dunia yote na vitu vyote ni vyake sasa na mimi nikwambie ndio lakini wanadamu walichukua maana bila inasema the earth he has given to man but the heavens belong to the lord kwa hivyo lease lease ya dunia alipatia nani wanadamu hii dunia Mungu alitupatia na kuna wengine shamba kama hii watajenga ba wengine shamba kama hii watajenga club wengine shamba kama hii itakuwa ni mahali pa disco lakini sisi tukasema hii shamba haitakuwa inafanyiwa kazi ingine ila kazi ya kumwabudu Mungu. Na kwa tukasema may you God record your name on this land. Na tulipofanya hiyo ibada tukatangaza mambo ya ile timu ya kwanza ya Top Cliff imeondoka tukaweka jina Chosen Generation Church. The Bible says I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Kwa hiyo hii shamba sio ya Pastor Ben, sio yangu. Haleluya. Nimesikia my wife ameniita for the first time bishop. Ukiona mke wangu amekubali wewe ni bishop, umefanyika bishop. By the way, that's the first time I heard you say that. <laughs> Hii shamba sio yangu. Hii shamba ni ya nani? Hii shamba hakuna wakati itagawa, ibuguzwe. Hii shamba itakuwa mahali pa kukusanya watu wa Mungu. Hata nitakapozeeka niondoke hii dunia, watoto wangu hawezi uza hii shamba. Maana this land belongs to who? To God. Na kwa hivyo wakati unapatia mtu kitu Mungu hata kama ina jina yako unaambia Mungu record your name on my car. Hiyo gari hakuna wakati itakuua. Maana already hiyo property umesema karibu Yesu, karibu. Hii gari ni yako. Eh, amen. Biblia inasema endeni mtamuona mwana punda, mumfungue, mumlete kwangu. Yesu akasema na akaambia wanafunzi, mkiulizwa na mtu kwa nini mnafungua huyu punda, mumwambie hivi The Lord has need of it. The Lord has need of it. Nikwambie ni kwa nini unafaa ufanikiwe? Hey, hello. Nikwambie ni kwa nini unafaa ujenge nyumba kubwa? Kuanzia leo usiseme, "Oh baba, nipe gari kubwa nibebe watoto wangu." Oh baba, nipe nyumba kubwa ili watoto wangu wawe na marugu zao za kukaa. Oh Mungu, nipatie mashamba hii dunia ili niachie watoto wangu urithi. Omba hivi. Eh hey, Mungu, nipe nyumba kubwa because you have need of it. Hiyo nyumba kuna watumishi wa talala huko. Eh, hey, haleluya. Hiyo nyumba itakuwa madhabahu yako. Kila wakati mtu ambaye ni wa Mungu akipita hapo anaweza pata chakula. Nipe gari maana hiyo gari itatumika kwa kazi yako. Because the Lord has need of it. Mimi nasema uwe na afya maana afya yako Mungu ataitumia ukiwa na afya utahubiria wengine hebu ile mkono sema the Lord has need of my health mimi naomba uishi miaka mingi maana vile utaishi miaka mingi ndio utageuza watu wengi wamjue Mungu the Lord has need of your long life kwa when people ask you why should you be blessed because the lord has need of my blessings why should you live long because the lord has need of my years i'm going to serve god with all my years oh why should you get married because the lord has need of my marriage so that we may raise godly children in that house men and women who shall fear the lord eh hey, mungu nipe ndoa ili mabishop wazaliwe katika hiyo ndoa watoto ambao watajenga makanisa wazaliwe katika hiyo ndoa 
mimi sitazaa mtoto wa kawaida mtoto ule ninazaa ni mtoto atabadilisha dunia ni mtoto ataeneza injili ni mtoto atafanya jina lako liheshimiwe dunia mzima eh hey, give me children oh god because you have need of them even you me what naomba kwa nini niwe na watoto wenye afya because the lord needs those children in their generation katika kizazi chao watoto wangu wa mtotoe Mungu katika kizazi chao wengine wakikujwa pombe watoto wangu wanasema pombe ni mbaya hey haleluya mimi nakuombea mafanikio maana mafanikio yako Mungu atatumia haya mafanikio kueneza injili mimi naomba upate gari ili tunapoenda mission unabeba watu kadhaa tunaenda na wao ninaomba upate roli ili roli na mwaga mawe hapa ambapo haina haja tulipe ninaomba upate matatu ili wakati tunaenda na wewe mission unatubeba bure may god give you those things in the name of so tell me i receive it in jesus name the lord has need of it hallelujah kwa nini ufikishe miaka 90 bana hiyo miaka utafundisha wajukuu kujeni ni waonyeshe vile mtu huwa anaomba utaongoza watoto wa watoto wa watoto wako kumuogopa Mungu hebu ino mkono sema the lord has need of it sema the lord has need of my marriage sema the lord has need of my health Sema the Lord has need of my prosperity. Sema the Lord has need of my house. Mimi nasema utakodisha miaka yote lazima ujenge. Ili wahubiri wakipita hapo wanakuwa kama Elisha. Wanasema ninapopita hapo wacha niwale kwa mchori mmoja mlokole mmoja mtu mmoja ambaye anampenda Mungu nitaingia hapa nipate mahali pa kulala. Maana mhubiri hakaribishwi kila mahali. Mimi nasema nyumba yako itafungua milango kwa wahubiri. Si useme abata amen. amen. Lakini ika nyumba unaishi ya bedroom moja, mhubiri atalala wapi? Hey, nauliza swali. Hello. Hii maisha ya shida. Mhubiri atapata offering wapi? Mi naomba mubarikiwe tujenge hii Sunday school. Naomba mubarikiwe tujenge shule hapa ya watoto. Naomba mubarikiwe tujenge hospitali ya umishoni. Nyinyi mmebarikiwa ndio mtasimamisha kazi ya Mungu. Nasema the Lord has need of your prosperity. The Lord has need of your help. Wewe hautalazwa hospitalini. Nasema hautalazwa hospitalini. Maana Mungu anahitaji afya yako ili uendelee kueneza neno la Mungu katika kizazi chetu. Mungu akatupa uzima wa mwili. Tunaenda tukiwa hatuna taabu na shida yoyote. Tunaambia mtu wewe geuka, wewe geuka maana Mungu anakupenda. Na 396 souls wakakubali kuokoka. Mimi naomba Mungu apanihifadhi miaka mingi. Ninaomba mimi binafsi, mi, hata wewe jiombee, sahihi ninaomba. Ninajiombea mimi niishi miaka mingi na niwe na afya ili nikamfanyie Mungu kazi. Haleluya. Adamu yako haitawahi mwagika barabarani. Hakuna wakati mifupa yako itavunjika kwenye barabara. Mungu atalinda mifupa yako. Hakuna kiungo chako kitatolewa. Mungu atalinda figo zako. Mungu atalinda maini yako. Mungu atalinda moyo wako. Mungu atakuondolea blood pressure na diabetes. Mungu atakuondolea cancer na arthritis. Hazitaingia kwenye mwili wako. Maana ukiwa na afya ufalme wa Mungu unasonga mbele. Hebu ni mkono sema give me hell because you have need of it. In Jesus name. Can I hear loud amen? Hiyo kasimu yako lazima ibadilike. Kamulika mwizi kamefungwa na blada. Ah tumekataa heshima ndogo. Mimi naomba Mungu akupatie simu inaweza tuma message Facebook. Unahubiri dakika tano unaenda live. Simu iko na WhatsApp. Simu sema amen. Mimi naomba ukitoka hapa ibada unakuwa na gari. Hiyo gari unasema naenda Dondori kidogo. Dakika 30 nihubiria watu wa Dondori alafu nienda nyumbani. Mimi natangaza gari hiyo pressure. The Lord has need of your prosperity. Sio sema amen. Aya yeah. sikiliza. 
So when God records his name on you, something good happens. Mimi nasema jina la Mungu liwe recorded katika maisha yako. Haya kuna mambo kadhaa yanafanyika wakati tunafanya ibada ya dedication, we dedicate our things, una dedicate gari, una dedicate simu yako, una dedicate nyumba yako, una dedicate plot zako, una dedicate mashamba, mahali unafanyia biashara unapa dedicate, kuna baraka huwa inafanyika. Number one ni baraka ya jina la Mungu linakuwa dedicated. Ama I mean recorded on your properties. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Number one, your name is recorded on your the name of God is recorded on your properties. Number two, ukifanya ibada ya dedication, unasema I cancel every other spiritual ceremony that is demonic. Ibada ingine yoyote ishaifanywa juu ya nyumba ya shamba ambayo sio ya Mungu nimeikataa. Gideon akaambiwa na Mungu, omoa madhabahu ya baba yako unijengee madhabahu. Ninataka kuingia kwa hii familia na siwezi ingia kwa hii familia madhabahu ya baba yako ya miungu ya Bel ikiwa imejengwa. Lazima ubomoe madhabahu ya baba yako unijengee mimi madhabahu nikapata kubariki hii familia. Kwa hivyo ibada zozote zishaitolewa kwa familia yenu ambazo ni, zi, ni ibada za mapepo tunazikataa katika jina la Yesu kama kuna ibada ishatolewa katika nyumba yenu ambayo ni ibada ya kishetani hebu inua mikono sema i cancel sema i revoke sema i nullify sema i refuse sema i overthrow every demonic ceremony sema ninaangusha kila ibada za mapepo kila ibada za mapepo kila ibada za mapepo zikaanguke katika jina la Yesu kama kwenu kuliletwa muganga akaleta giza wewe utabeba mwangaza unaingiza kwa hiyo familia na tunasema ibada zote zishaifanywa katika hii jamii na baba yetu na mama yetu ambazo sio za Mungu tumezikataa waganga wote walitumwa wachawi wote washaingia kwa nyumba yetu kila machanjo imefanywa kila ibada na kafara zimetolewa tunazikataa na tunatangaza ibada ya kiungu inuke tunamomoa madhabahu za bei tunainua madhabahu za kiungu kwa familia zetu sisi na nyumba zetu tutamtumikia Mungu watoto wetu hapa ingia kwenye madhabahu za uchawi miguu yao isiingie kwenye baa miguu yao isiingie kwa makahaba miguu yao isiingie kwa wachawi Nyumba yetu isiwe na mikora. Hakuna mtoto wetu atawahi enda jela kwa sababu kuna maroi na tawala familia. Leo tunainua madhabahu ya kiungu. Tunasema let the altar of God be lifted up in our families in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Wale natangaza kama kwenu kuna ibada ishaifanyika, tuna cancel ibada yoyote. Mnaona hizi gari tunanunua zinatoka Japan. Si ni kweli. Wa Japanese wanaamini miungu inaitwa Buddha. Miungu inaitwa nini? So hiyo gari kija Kenya tunasema wewe wewe gari wewe sio Buddha. Hey, hello. Niwaulize si hii barabara hii yetu ya Nakuru tukijengewa hii overpass. Unajua overpass? Ile imejengwa pale njia kwenda Kiti na kwenda 58. Si ni wa Chinese walijenga. Kulifanyika nini? na mpaka ikawa kwa news walichinja mbuzi wakamwaga na wengine wanazika hizo mbuzi karibu na haile sisi hatutatawaliwa na roho ya mbuzi damu za mbuzi hazitaitisha damu za wakenya wa na sisi tulifanya ibada hapo tukasema tumekataa sisi hatutaongozwa na damu ya mbuzi na ya nguruwe sisi tunamwabudu Yesu na Yesu peke yake atatawala barabara zetu kwa tunapofanya dedication kitu ya kwanza tuna cancel nini ibada zote za uovu namba 2 tunakataa kila kafara zimetolewa na sadaka za mapepo Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Wakorintho hizi sadaka mnatoa mnatoa kwa nini kwa mapepo lakini sio kwa Mungu na Paulo akasema singetaka muwe na ushirika na nini na mapepo hebu inua mikono sema katika jina la Yesu sema kwa nguvu katika jina la Yesu Sema kila sadaka kila kafara ishawaitolewa kwa madhabahu za pepo kwa madhabahu za giza kila kafara 
kila ibada kila sadaka zishaiwekelewa madhabahu za mashetani sema na ikataa sema na kataa sema na kataa sema na kataa unajua mpaka Musa kuna mahali aliomba akasema hivi e Mungu usikubali maombi ya dada na kora wakiomba mabaya kataa hayo maombi hebu inua mikono nasema maombi yote mabaya umeombewa mahali popote jina lako limepelekwa mahali wakaanza kuomba usilisike wakaomba uishe leo katika jina la Yesu ninatangaza hayo maombi tunayakataa mtu yote amefunga chakula kama wakati wa Paulo wakajifunga siku ya ubaine wakasema afariki leo ninatangaza hayo maombi tunayakataa katika jina la Yesu tunayakataa katika jina la Yesu tunayakataa katika jina la Yesu kwa hivyo ibada ya dedication tunakataa nini? Number one, ibada zote. Number two, sadaka zile zimetolewa. Watu hutoa sadaka kwa mapepo. Number three, tunaondoa kitu kinaitwa ruling words. Andika hiyo. Maana I'm about to finish. Tunaondoa kitu kinaitwa nini? Ruling words. Ruling words ni maneno yaliyozungumzwa mahali. Biblia inasema naye Joshua akalaani Jericho akasema nini mtu yeyote atajenga Jericho akianza kuweka misingi ya Jericho first born yake afariki akiweka malango ya Jericho last born afariki bila inasema miaka 530 baadaye ukainuka mtu anaitwa Hiel anaitwa nani alipojenga Jericho first born akakufa alipoweka milango ya Jericho last born akavaa nini akafariki na kwa tunapofanya ibada ya dedication tunaondoa maneno yanayotawala mahali. Unasikia mzee kabla hajakufa na anasema hii shamba isiwahi uzwa, hiyo ni maneno. Hii shamba isiwahi nini? Usiwahi oa wanyeri. Msioe dabureti. Msioe moranga inaitwa maneno. Mwimbaji akaimba maneno yoyote yaliyonenwa au ama inasamanga walio hai na walio kufa chini ya maji na inchi kafu haya tafaru maneno maovu na walio hai na walio kufa chini ya maji na inchi kafu mi nasema haya tafauti. Mtu yote alikurani akasema hutafanikiwa tunaondoa hizo laana. Kama baba yako akiwa mrevi alisema wewe utawaiolewa tunaondoa hiyo maneno. Kama wazazi walisema utakuwa bure nasema wewe hautakuwa bure. Laana yoyote maneno yoyote yashaizungumzwa kinyume na wewe tunayakataa katika anga. Siuseme ya beta amen. Sema tunakataa Sema ninakataa kila maneno ambayo ananizuia yananiwekea mipaka. Daudi akamwambia Shimei. Daudi akamwambia nani? Shimei, ulinitukana. Na uliponitukana nitakuhifadhi uhai. Lakini ile muto usiwaipita. Na siku ile utapita hiyo muto utakufa. Maneno. Shimei akakaa anakaa karibu na Daudi. Hapiti muto. Daudi akafariki. Shimei akasahau akapita nini? Muto. Alikufa ama hakukufa? Maneno yana nguvu. Maneno yana nini? Ya mwisho. Sikiliza. Wakati tunafanya maombi ya dedication, kuweka vitu wakfu ama watoto wakfu ama mchanga wakfu. Number four tunaondoa kitu kinaitwa patterns hebu andika hiyo patterns ama cycles pattern ni kama hii tiles ukiangalia hii kanisa iko na pattern unaona hiyo dirisha inafanana na ile dirisha inafanana na ile dirisha inafanana na ile dirisha inaitwa nini pattern ukiangalia juu unaona taa hapo taa hapo taa hapo inaitwa nini 
hata ukiangalia chini tiles hii inafuata hii inafuata hiyo ndio inaitwa pattern sasa mnafahamu uelewe kuna patterns ama cycles huwa zinajirudia mahali nitakupa mfano umeenda ukakodisha duka pale town ukachukua duka ya kazi hiyo duka ya kazi yule alikuwa mbele yako alishindwa kulipa miezi sita akafukuzwa na yule alikuwa mbele ya huyo pia alishindwa kulipa hiyo inaitwa nini pata sasa wewe ukiingia pale usipopiga hiyo roho na wewe utashindwa kulipa sasa tukifanya ibada ya dedication tunasema in the name of Jesus ile pata nimefuata watu wengine tumeikataa niliwapa mfano wa my wife na mimi tulipokuja na kuru nikataka kumnunulia kagari nikaona kagari ya pesa kidogo Japan nikatumana kakakuja kanaitwa paso wangapi mnajua paso kare kagari kako weka weka na beba sana wasili kagari kazuri he my wife alikuwa nakaangalia kwa picha ananiambia itafika lini na mwambia tusubiri tusubiri inakuja <laughs> gari kafika ilikuwa red wine si unajua red wine kagari kazuri kwa picha kakafika port kakachukuliwa na driver driver ndiye huyo kufika emali kagari kale ketu kazuri hata sijakaona na macho hata hatujakaguza driver akagonga basi huku nyuma pa na gari ni mpya nilisikia simu hello basta eh kuna kitu mbaya imetendeka nikamuuliza ni nini ni kitu hautafurahia nikamwambia acha kunipeleka peleka hivi niambie ni nini ni ni gari haipi na shida ya mguu akaniambia sio shida ya mguu nimegonga basi gari ikakwisha yote hapa mbele gari mpya gari bebo sasa hata hiyezi kileta Tulienda kuona gari hiyo kwa garage. <laughs> Nilienda Nairobi, maana hata haiwezi kipeleka. Nikakaangalia, nikakazunguka, hata sikuwa nakaguza. Kagari kamebondwa. Nikakaangalia. Uzuri, insurance ikakubali kukatengeneza. Kakatengenezwa, kakawekwa mataa mpya. Gari ngorewa vitu zote hapa mbele. Kagari mpya kakaanza safari tena kutoka Nairobi kuja nilikaombea baba hako kagari kafike hako finally kakafika na kuru nikasema thank you jesus my wife akakachukua unajua ukipata kagari mpya unataka pia utembee tembea kaamua kwenda kwao karatina akanipigia simu haru eh <laughs> kagari ni kama hakagurumi Na gari kamemwaga oil kamesimama kwa barabara hii. Gari mpya. Nikamwambia peleka garage ikatengenezwa, gari letu na kuru tena. Nikaamka asubuhi nikasema acha nikanyage kanyage mafuta hii kagari nijue shida ni nini. Nikaingia kwa hapa kwa driver. Nikafanya vum vum vum. Kufanya vu ya mwisho kakanyamaza. Nikasema pengine ni mafuta. Nikaita mechanic Meka nika kaja akaniambia by the way pastor hiyo gari imenock engine. Sasa ni nini weka engine mpya. Utafuta engine. Elfu arobaini na tano nikaekelea engine. Nikakaa nikasema hii kagari kako na pata. Itakauza. Nikakaweka for sale. Maana kama nikasilisha. Hata akakumaliza wiki kakanunuliwa huyo alinunua baada ya miezi mbili simu ti hello gari kamepinduka kame gari kame garagara hiyo inaitwa nini pattern nasema pattern zile zinafuata ndugu zako pattern zile zinafuata familia yenu ati kwenu wasichana hawaolewi leo nasema tunavunja hizo pattern Pattern zile zinafuata wanaume kwenu. Ati hawawezi kaa na mke. Ninakataa hazitakufuata wewe. Leo natangaza zile pattern za magonjwa ya sukari na blood pressure. Inafuata ndugu zako. Natangaza mwili wako 
uwe na afya katika jina la Yesu. Zile pattern za kusema hamusomangi kwenu. Wewe ndio wa kwanza kuvunja hiyo pattern. Na watoto wako wapate madigri katika jina la Yesu. Si useme aloud amen. Pattern is a dangerous thing. Na nitakusomea maneno mawili tuombe. Sema every pattern following your life has to end. John chapter 1 verse 46. Sikiliza hii. John chapter 1 verses 46. Inawasomea. Inasema hivi John 1:46. And Daniel said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip answered and said, Come and see. Kuna pattern ya nothing good comes out of your family. Na Daniel alisema, Can anything good come out of where? Nazareth. Is there anything good that can come out of the Jorogues family? Out of the Otienos family, Wafula's family, Carissa's family. Hiyo familia haikuangi na watu wakubwa, haikuangi na viongozi. Can anything good? Kwa hivyo, na Daniel anasema, ya kwamba Nazareth hakuna kitu kizuri wa kinatoka uko. Inaitua pata. Sema pata. Sema kwa nguvu pata. Yani kwenu wa kujawai kuwa mamanager. Can anything good come out of that family? John chapter 7 verse 52. John 7 52. They answered and said to him, Are you also from Galilee? John 7 52. Search and look, for no prophet has arisen out of Galilee. Mafarisayo, masadukayo, wakasema, Galilee huwa haizai, haizai manabi. Enda utafute uone hakuna nabi ya shaizari wa Galilee. Hey, hello? Hiyo inaitua nini? Pattern. Ati familia hayezi za muhubiri. Familia hayezi za kiongozi wa, 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 wa inchi. Yani unapata nyumba yenu yote. Ata muze wa nyumba kumi hakuna. Ata prefect hakuna. Gadili does not have any prophet. Hakuna nabi amezaliwa wapi. Gadili. Aleluya. Inawezekana nyumba yenu ni kama gadili. Hakuzari wangui viongozi wa inchi. Hakuzariwi watu ambao wanadumisha ndoa. Hakujawai kuwa na wimbo wa harusi kwa familia yenu. Hakuna. Na ungeresha msichana hapa hujaolewa. Wewe msichana hujaolewa. Wewe ndi utakuwa wa kwanza kuintroduce wimbo. Wimbo wa harusi. Watu wataingia hivu. Wakidance. Arafu msichana akimbiwe. Mohiki toyo. Simu nisaidie. Mothaka toyo. Gaine muega. Gaine muega. Sasa sijuye kiluo inaimbu wa vipi. Sijui kiluya inaimbu wa vipi Lakini huo ni wimbo kwa luga yetu tunaimbia harusi Hata kuna ingine tunaimba tuwa magendo Huyu zio wa nini? Wa magendo Inaendanga aje? Moiki wito Moiki wito Moiki wito Tiwa magendo Today kama muhubiri na kuhani wa mungu Nina waombea kwamba kwenu kutakuwa na nyimbo za harusi. Wimbo ni baraka. Na ninaomba kutakuwa na nyimbo za harusi. Kutakuwa na nyimbo za graduation. Nyimbo za ushindi. We, hallelujah. Kutakuwa na nyimbo za furaha. Nyimbo za birthday. Nyimbo za anniversary ya 30 years in marriage. There will be such a song. Ebu ilo mkona sama give me a show Nina omba familienu ipeya wimbo Utakuwa na wimbo kwa wasichana wa familia yenu Vichana wataimbiwa wimbo There will be a show In your family in the name of Jesus Ilo mkona sama give me a show May that be your portion in Jesus name Can anything good come out of where? Nazareth Itamaliza na mahubiri yale na penda na juwa na nimewambia mara nyingi Na nitairubia Paka ikuingie, paka iwe reality in your heart 
Amos chapter 7 verse 14 is my favorite verse. One of my favorite verses as of now. Wajua kila siku unapewa the scripture kazuri. Nitaisema mpaka uijue. Amos anasema hivi. Amos chapter 7 verses 14. Anamwambia mtu anaitwa Amazia. Anamwambia Amazia, I was not born a prophet. And my father was not a prophet. I was a sheep breeder and a tender of sycamore fruit. Ni isema na Kiswahili. Naye Amosi akamwambia Amazia, Amazia, ama Amazia. Mimi sikuzaliwa nabii wala baba yangu hakuwa nabii. Mimi nilikuwa mkulima wa miti ya saikamo na nilikuwa mkulima wa kondoo. Alafu verse 15 na kizungu anasema hivi. But the Lord took me. Somebody say the Lord took me. The Lord took me and sent me as a prophet to the nation of Israel. Naye Mungu akanichukua akanituma niwe nabii wa inchi ya Israeli. Leo nakwambia hivi. Inawezekana you were not born a prophet. Inawezekana your father was not a prophet. Inawezekana you were not born a leader. Inawezekana your father was not a leader. Inawezekana you were not born to travel. Inawezekana hakuna mtu alizaliwa kweli ameenda nchi nyingine. Lakini leo nakuja kukutabiria kile hakijaonekana kwa familia yenu. Kile kimezuiwa kwa nyumba yenu. Kile mliwepotoa mipaka kwa familia yenu. Inawezekana baba yako hakuwa kiongozi katika nchi hii. Inawezekana mama yako alikuwa mama wa kawaida. Lakini leo nakutabiria kama mtumishi wa Mungu, la kwamba wewe utabadilisha jina la familia yenu. Mungu atakuinue katika kizazi chako. Mungu atakupe jina katika kizazi chako. Mungu atakutumie katika kizazi chako. Kila hakikaonekana kwa familia yenu, wewe ndio utaitrebuse hiyo kwa nyumba yenu. Wewe inatangaza that you are not born to become. May you become what your father could not do. May you do what your mother could not do. May you do. Kile kiliwa baba yako hakika kuwa. Kile kiliangamiza familia yenu hakika kuangamiza. Kile kinazuia watu wenu hakika kuzuia. Mipaka imewekwa kwa jamii. Wewe unajuka. Nasema unajuka. Nasema unabadilisha familia. Nasema unabadilisha jina wa familia. Can somebody say amen? Si 